morning everybody I think this is day five um, it's a Saturday anyway so it might be a bit busier everywhere today but we've got quite a few things planned it's a bit later than normal but first of all good night out Pete so-so. Oh, so-so. Not, not score anything, so. <laughs> not score anything. It means women, by the way, not drugs. <laughs> um, still not sure I get used to this, waking up every morning to this site. It's crazy. It really is crazy. It's, it's um, a million miles away than what I live in, it's gone thought. A million, billion, zillion miles away. I wake up to this every morning. I'm going to walk to the tube station. It said on the weather that there was 40% chance of rain today. So far, this is the second best day of weather. It's um, very clear, and the cops are out catching somebody there, pick, checking them. <laughs> so much I've got left on my octopus card 116. Right, we're looking for Hong Kong Park. We're going to go have a look around that. Where? Oh, there you yeah. There's the big map. When you come out of the metro, there's usually a big telling you which exit to use because there's that many exits. What's that one there, Pete? Hong Kong Park at the bottom. So there you go, C. Hong Kong Park, right. It's right in front of us anyway, that's where it is. Right there, Hong Kong Park. Yeah, look at the peak today, you can see it's another beautiful day. Every day has been beautiful, the weather has been amazing. But on sunny days like this, this is, this is proper, beautiful British weather. It's about 20 degrees, there's a nice little, just a little breeze. And the sky is blue, absolutely amazing. See the tortoises, turtles on there? I really need to find out the difference between a tortoise and a turtle. There's one having a little swim. Just chilling. Just chilling. So that was a quick look around the park. Now I'm off to jump on the tram and go as far as I can. <laughs> now apparently you just jump on them and they're, they're very cheap and they take you ages down the um, street. So I'm just going to jump on one and see where it takes me. I have no plans, no idea what to do. But let's just do it. In fact, here's one coming now. You pay with your octopus card. So let's see. All I know is to take you down the main road as far as you want to go so we'll soon find out I want to try and get to the top get a good view I think you pay on the back we'll see
I was, I was going to stay in it longer, but they're so slow. Like that's that video you've just seen there was like 25 minutes. Um, I couldn't get to the front, which I didn't think it's a sappy, so it's going to be very busy. But there are the trams, they're called the Ting Tings, I think. They run all over this part of Hong Kong Island. And um, yeah, that ride cost me 23p, where I got on half an hour later nearly here. Where if I'd have gone one stop, or if I'd have gone another 20 stops, it would have cost me 23p. Um, yeah, these are the trams that run along with the buses, the taxis, them little green buses. Fantastic. There she goes, Happy Valley. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering where Pete is, there's a temple Pete wants to visit, which I didn't fancy, and so he's gone there and I've come to do this and we'll meet up later. He likes visiting temples, Pete, for some reason. Anyway, that's where he is. Uh, he's going to ring me later when he's finished and we're going to meet up. But I'm in this area now. I think it might be um, Causeway Bay area. I'm just going to spend it walking around here for a couple of hours before I head back. So I have a plan before I meet up with Pete again later. First thing I'm going to try and find a McDonald's. And I'm going to try a McDonald's menu from Hong Kong. I'm going to buy a burger meal and an extra burger. But just with, well, the Hong Kong menu ones I've never had. And then I'm going to head to the Star Ferry. The ferry that runs between the two islands um, <coughs> is uh, does a tour as well. A one hour tour, so I'm going to go jump on that for an hour. It's a fair walk away, good, good 45 minute walk away, so I'll see you when I either get to a McDonald's or Star Ferry, whichever one I arrive at first. It's a long way down this road. I'll try and show you on the map. Okay, so that's where I am, the blue dot. Just moving. And I need to be Pier 5, which is, well, next to Pier 6. That's a fair walk. Let's go and enjoy a bit of Hong Kong on a beautiful, bright Saturday morning. There's all the scaffolding like I pointed the other day on one of my vlogs. It's all, all the scaffolding is bamboo. No metal scaffolding inside. Anyway, still on the way. McDonald's or Star Ferry, which one wins? At the moment, it's a zero zero draw. Snooker club. So it looks like it's going to be Star Ferry first. Head down this road and turn left past the exhibition centre. And just carry on down there till we get to the Star Ferry pier. Somewhere down here, let's have a look. <laughs> There's a fair bit of work going on near the um, exhibition centre for sure. Look at all that. This is a lot further than I thought. I'd have caught a taxi if I'd have known it was this far. Not really. Some of the viewers are just amazing. Look at that. What a gorgeous day. Central and Western District Promenade Central section Victoria Harbour Let's go have a look There's a policeman Yeah, I've got to say That walk took about 20 minutes longer than I thought I can't remember what time I set off but it is now Nearly quarter to twelve so it was a while it's a good job I'm fit. Fit, not fat, fit. Everyone's working out there. I'm heading along there to the Green Pier. I think it's two past that one.
think there's going to be some yoga class going on here by the looks of it. There's already exercise going on there. Got a fantastic view of the mountain. Yeah, that's gorgeous. Beautiful. I would say maybe when we went up, that was the second best day. I would say today is the best day to go up there. That looks amazing today. So as you come here, you've got the fairs over there. Got a little fishing boat there. That's where I need to be down there, I think, and walk that way. It's hard to imagine that in two days it's all over and I'm back at home. Oh, God. when you look at when you look at what I'm looking at now, it's just two days. I'm going to be back into zero degrees. Fantastic! That fair's um, still there from Chinese New Year. I think it runs till the 12th of February. I think it said. So it's there a fair while. It was there. Uh, a week or two before Chinese New Year, and that was a couple of days ago. So that's where I'm heading, Central Piers. What a background for it though. Going on that, and then falling down and looking at the view up there. That's the only water ride. That's one thing what surprised me about Disneyland, there was no water rides. I said in the video, you think in a country like Hong Kong, or even now, it's nice, you get wet on a ride, you soon dry off. Not one water ride in Hong Kong. Very strange. While we're walking down here to catch the ferry, a couple of things I'd like to say. Hong Kong is, I don't know how to put it. If you need the toilet, Hong Kong is one of the best cities I've been in. I know when you're in London and New York, it's a struggle to find a toilet. Especially in New York, it was a struggle. But in Hong Kong, there are plenty of public toilets for to use. So that's one trouble. Come, if you need the toilet, plenty of public toilets. Another thing is, when you come out of a metro or a bus, everything is signposted fantastically in Hong Kong. You cannot go wrong. Um, if you think you've gone the wrong way, you'll just worry. There's a map there and tell you. So everything for tourists is set out fantastic in Hong Kong. It really is brilliant. And just one other thing, that's three things, not two, is an app. If you come to Hong Kong, me and Pete swear by it. It's this Hong Kong, you probably can't see it. Let me get in the shade. It's called Hong Kong Ulmon. Can you see? Oh, you can't see. Oh, there you go. Hong Kong Ulmon. That is the app that tells you a map of, it works offline, which is the most important thing. It tells you where you are, what attractions you're near, how to get there. All this works offline. If you come to Hong Kong, Hong Kong Ulmon. You can get it for other cities, I've downloaded the New York version so I'm going to see how that works, but that is the app to have and if you want the subway app, use City Mapper. but in all honesty, the subway is extremely easy to use Yeah, I just remembered to get the um, cruise, I need to be on the other side of the island, don't I? TST side to get the crew, so let's go there. All settled in for our five minute journey. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, well, there's the sign. Um, it's been busy every single day, there's nobody there now. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Let's go see how much it is. Is it here? Star Ferries Harbour Tower. How much is it? Let's have a look. How much is it for one tower? 
it's one hour tour, one hundred dollars. And is that the next one? Twenty-five past two. Oh, it's yeah. Yeah, I'll take that one please. So twelve fifty-five. That's alright. Where from up there? Yeah. Please wait up the stairs at twelve forty-five. Okay. Twelve forty-five. Thank you. Okay, so it's 12.45, let's head to this Star Ferry Harbour tour. Let's see how good this is. I wasn't planning on doing this. Sometimes when you just do things on the spur of the moment, they turn out to be the best things, don't they? So let's go. Side part's pretty smart. It's a lot smarter than the normal staff there, I'm sure. I think I will go outside for a bit actually. today because it actually said on the weather today was the only day with 40 percent chance of rain it's absolutely stunning <laughs> so not only are the british weathermen shit everyone else seems to be It's nice on here actually, for 10 quid. Nice seats, some chill out area. So that's where I was earlier, walking. There's the exhibition centre. So I was way back there somewhere. And I walked all the way down to the exhibition centre. All the way down to, there's the Star Ferry, so Pot Pier 5's there. I've said it before, this is such a fantastic city. It's not your beach holiday, chill out city. Come here, have a walk around a beautiful city, do a few attractions. If you want to have a drink at night, you can. If you want to chill out, there's plenty of nice restaurants. Yeah, love it here, absolutely love it. The International Commerce Center, ICC, is the highest building in Hong Kong. Its observation deck opens on the 100th floor.
So just got off the Star Ferry, that was really good that, and for £10 that was a fantastic tour. Spent an hour on there just cruising about, some good videos and pictures. Um, right, plans for the rest of the day. What we're going to do now is, what time is it? It is 5 to 2, I had nothing to eat so we're going to hit McDonald's. And like I said earlier, we're going to try the Hong Kong version of McDonald's, see what their speciality burgers are and get a couple. So what I've ordered is, I've ordered the chicken and beef with hash brown there, or the beef one I think I've got, and twisty fries and a coke, and then I've ordered the beef one with a hash brown, so I've got one of each, chicken with hash brown, a beef with hash brown and twisty fries. It's pretty hard stuff because they're both covered in that teriyaki sauce, a lot of it's really nice. That one is the beef one. So that was my McDonald's in Hong Kong. I think the sauce was teriyaki. My lips is, I don't do spicy food. My lips are still burning now. Well that was really nice. Something different, isn't it? You don't get that in England. Yeah, really hot my lips. See how many more people offer me watches and suits and that. You could change. No, I'm alright, thank you. No, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> I haven't been recording all of it, but that must be number seven. So if you're in this area, there are some people trying to sell you watches and suits, so beware. We've come across a dessert shop. I think I'm gonna have a praline and Nutella one. Let's go. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, man. Thank you. Okay, let's have a try of this then, shall we? It looks amazing. It really does. So we're down here. How do you eat this ice cream? Oh, it's so crispy, that. now is headed to the metro and then head to Prince Edward metro stop and go to them two markets the animal market and the fish market and let's see what we can see there maybe um, I don't think it'll be like a English market let's put it that way so I've got the right place I'm after Prince Edward so one to third stop and our stop is actually the stop after it so I might walk, walk from Prince Edward to Shamshu Po later on when I've seen the markets. I've said it before but the, the metros, the trains are massive, look. Maybe see at the end there. Maybe see at the end of there. Huge. Bottom two. Are the two that I want, so I need to find exit B. Sites like this are just, oh I love it. It's just so Chinese isn't it, I love is just amazing. Okay, so we've made it to Goldfish Street out of the um, metro, quite easy to find. So uh, I'll take you on a walk down, um, it's called Goldfish Street here in Hong Kong. Um, I'll just leave the camera running and do a bit of talking. So here we go. There's the bigger ones up there. Yeah. 
起碼佢。Uh, like baby frogs. Yeah. Baby frogs. Baby turtles. Books. Well, I can safely say, put my hand on my heart. I've never seen anything like this before, ever. Carries on across the road. Let's go. Oh, let me get him another though. Ah, oh, then I'm bothered. Oh, waity, waity. It fascinates me, it really does. It really, really does. Fascinates me. I presume they eat them, am I right? They must do. They're not going to last very long as a pet, are they? In a plastic bag with a half filled of water, so. Okay, so that's the end of the fish, the goldfish market part. Um, let's head and try and find the bird garden now. Let's go for a walk to the bird garden. Right, let's carry on down here and find this bird garden. I heard it's just, it's more than birds, it's other animals, so we'll see, it may be wrong. Guy yeah, they're saying, well, there's not, you know, there's not many people, you know. Like, a lot of people look at the camera, but they never look at me when I'm filming. There's maybe a handful a day who nod me and smile. And that was one, but there's not many people. Most people just stare, to be honest. So I don't feel awkward at all here. The people, I think I've said it before, the people are extremely nice here. Yes, the pushing, um, they can be a bit rude. But that's, you know, that you don't take offence to that. That is how Chinese people are. That is, that is not them being rude to you. That is how they are. So don't take offence to it and you'll be fine. If someone pushes in your way, it doesn't matter if I'm English, they're going to push him away if I'm Chinese. So that's, that's just going to happen, full stop. Anyway, let's find this bird street. Let's go and have a look in bird garden some nice big parrots in that oh wow look at that Yo 
If I get out of here without a bird shitting on me, I'll be a relieved man. That's it. So our hotel is in the Sham Shu Po area of Hong Kong. And basically that is well of all the areas we've been, it's probably the poorest area I've seen. It probably is poorer, but this is the poorest I've seen. Um, if you watched day one when we came out of the metro station, I was just gobsmacked when I just saw you get used to it. Um, but when like we're in day five now, this is by far the worst area I've seen. If you go on TripAdvisor, that's why this area is fantastic. Because it is like that. This is proper not proper maybe but this is China this isn't your yeah, big small nice buildings look this is Sham Shui Po in China so if you do come to Hong Kong I absolutely recommend a visit here um, if you come to visit this part of Hong Kong you probably only need three or four hours here before you maybe move on to the markets I've just been to or something but this area is definitely worth a visit because this is this is how I picture China. This this is how I picture it. Look, just old old buildings, street markets. This is just how I picture China. Tall buildings. I mean, look at that building there. Look, you know, it's a shit hole, but it's someone's house, so. This is Sham Shui Po. This is where we're staying. <laughs> Again, this is the little market near our hotel. A Happy Louis Market. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it, to be honest. I think it shuts off the traffic at night time, but it's still open in there. You see that? The guy just sneezed over all of his product. <laughs> Welcome to China, boy. Okay, it's time to head back to the hotel. Um, I'll film a little bit on the way, on the walk up here, and I'll finish the day off when we get to the top. I've not seen our path. The route back to our hotel is busy as this. Jeez, that is busy. So I'll stop here and end the day. Um, it's getting on to nearly six o'clock on day five in Hong Kong. That's it for the end of today because we have to be up. Well, we have to be up in 12 hours to go to Macau, which is. Well, it's like the Las Vegas of Asia. So give it a quick Google before you watch the video next week on Macau. Um, yeah, uh, I've had a text off Pete. He's back there. Um, been back about 10 minutes, so he'll probably pop out and get some food when I get back. I'm off to get a shower and everything. What have I done today? Well, I went with Pete and we went to Hong Kong Park and then he went to his temple. 
and he's done some other stuff which I'll find out and I'll let you know tomorrow or Pete will let you know and then I went on the boat cruise I went for a nice walk first then back to onto the boat cruise a few markets and a nice stroll back here I think I've walked 15 kilometers today so my feet are well and truly knackered <laughs> so far has just been fantastic this is the um, this is the quiet day and I'm knackered uh, that's it day five is finished uh, thank you very much for watching uh, please subscribe like comment and share uh, all my social media links are in the description box below leave me a comment ask me a question I always answer you and if I can help you in any way just send me a question on any form of social media and I'll help you so that's it I look forward to tomorrow's filming and I look forward to showing you it next week in Macau wow day five's finished let's have day six see you all later guys bye so here's Hong Kong skyline zoomed in a little bit from Kowloon side that's the tallest building we're just getting ready to watch the Symphony of Light show that will be on my channel as well